We're here outside Geonics with uh, John, our 31 technician, and we're about to walk through the calibration procedures that should be used prior to conducting a survey out in the field. First step, as you can see, is to just connect the transmitter boom, which is easily labeled, and with just the transmitter connected, with just the transmitter connected, your displayed readings of conductivity with the range setting in the 1000 setting should be zero. If it is, go ahead and proceed to connect the receiver boom. If the conductivity reading with just the transmitter boom connected is not zero, then it requires an adjustment in that position. And the adjustment is to rotate, it's a potentiometer which you rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise until the reading, the conductivity reading is zero. It's unlikely that you would need to make this adjustment as it's set at the factory and is not required in regular prior to survey uh, uh, mode. So um, I, we would suggest that there's no need to adjust that unless it's a serious difference from zero. I mean, if it's jumping plus minus two or more millisiemens per meter, then you adjust that down to zero. Otherwise, you can go ahead and proceed to connect the receiver boom. The next step in the procedure is the most important part of the calibration procedure. And this is done with both the receiver boom and the transmitter boom connected. There's two stages to the calibration procedure. There is the zeroing of the in phase, and then there's the checking of the phase. First step is to do the zeroing of the in phase, which we will proceed to do now. And when we zero the in phase, we do that by placing the mode switch to the operating position and adjusting the fine and coarse compensation controls and observing the in phase reading and adjusting them to get it to zero. So we'll do that now. And there we go, we have zero D in phase. Step two, we're gonna check the phasing of the instrument. So we place the mode switch phasing position. And now with the coarse compensation control, first we observe the conductivity reading, which is 72 approximately. You take the coarse compensation control and go one step clockwise and observe the conductivity reading. If it continues to read the same value, your phasing is correct and uh, you're, you're okay. And your instrument is done, your calibration is done, completed, you're ready to survey. But if when you rotate the course compensation control one step clockwise, the reading, let's say it jumped from 72 to 75, you would need to make a phase adjustment using the phase potentiometer and you would turn the phase potentiometer to the point at which the reading on the display, the conductivity reading, would remain the same when you go between one step clockwise and counterclockwise. That reading should not change. And that's the procedure. That's a zeroing procedure. At that point, you can uh, take your system and start surveying.